What is up, fam? Most message finds you all longer spirits. What do I have behind me? I have some sibling rivalry going on. A Shelby GT350 and the all-new 2024 Dark Horse Mustang. We're going to do some dig and roll races today at the airport. Find out who has bragging rights. I'll give our final choice at the end of the video what we'd actually buy. Enjoy. Let's go. And before we go any further, take a shot and look at our sponsor, On3 Supply. All right, guys, before we get into today's epic video with the Dark Horse, we got a little new school, old school here. But what's great about this old school this is our giveaway. It is live. A real fastback 1969 Mach 1 Mustang can be yours. Go to On3Supply.com. Every $1 you spend is an entry. And if you enter now for our bonus entries, which are 100 you get our chances are higher than there ever be this entire giveaway. It's our shortest giveaway ever. You're not waiting months. So enter now on thrifthspot.com and win this piece of history, guys. All right, guys, I want you to take a look at how beautiful this blue ember paint is on the 2024 Dark Horse Mustang. But bam, take a look at this beautiful aqua Gulfstream paint on this real 69 Mach 1 in the sun. Man, I don't know what you guys think. Which color you like better? I'm a little partial to this Mach 1, but it is gorgeous too. What's even better? You can win this now on 3 supplycom Grab some merch. This could be yours on 3 Supply. You heard it. Definitely check out the Mach 1 giveaway. It is live, our shortest giveaway ever. If you enter during launch week, 100 times bonus entries are live. That means $1 is now worth 100 entries. Never ever going to be the high again the whole of the giveaway. So get in now, get locked in. Your chances are better with us. Like we, like Vinny likes to say, we small, but we satisfy. A lot of people saying, should I upgrade from the Shelby 50 to the new Dark Horse Mustang? Well, today we're going to do some drag races, some roll races, let you hear them, see them, see who wins. Let's get this bragging rights debate settled. Let's go. Just so you guys know some uh, kind of background, this is, of course, a completely bone stock 2024 Dark Horse Mustang, 500 horsepower. This is a 2017 Shelby 350, back to stock. It has 526 horsepower. So we're gonna find out today who is the real king here. Obviously there's track cars, but we're gonna roll them and dig them and see what happens. airport here so we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in good old all right we're gonna put it in track mode and just send it this does have launch control so let's see what it does Fifty for the first one. Let's do another roll. Thirty roll. Stay at thirty though. Stay at thirty. I think she was a little late on that. My switch seats or? All right. Switch and see. Run it back. 
back and then that's it. So far, it looks like Shelby's winning with the higher red line. Okay, good job. Shelby for the win. One more and then we're gonna go to digs. Shelby so far is winning this, guys. That's 550, coming in hot. Man, that voodoo sounds really good. We're hot lapping these. Um, again, these are track cars. You wanna take them to the track. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. Ready? Last one. Send it for the dark horse. Two out of three go to the Shelby 350 because for right now, that extra horsepower, higher RPM gives it the win. All right, so on a roll, 350 is the win, King. Yeah. On a roll. We had it out. Yeah, sorry. You need to be in a specific speed and a specific RPM to even, like, enjoy it. Yeah, I would say two out of three is 350. And um, it's a driver's race, a stick shift car. But it's on a roll, 350. And you can get out. We'll just give our final thoughts. Okay, so if you if you had, let's see, sixty grand, dark horse twenty four or Shelby three fifty. It's a tough choice. I think I'm biased because I have one, but uh, people are gonna hate me. People are gonna hate. I'll take the dark horse. Why? You just beat the dark horse I, two I out of did, three. I did, but um, it just you have to be in, in a certain speed to start from because if you start below thirty miles an hour this car doesn't go anywhere because it needs to be in the high RPMs. The 5.0 on the other hand has a very good torque from low end as well. So it like, it gets you out of there faster, but then the Shelby will reel, reel it in in the top end. All right, thank you so much, Anna, for your input. Guys, let me turn the camera around. Listen, dark horse, love the tech. Love that it's a 5.0, you know it's reliable. I love, I actually love the new look. It looks really, like muscly now but if it was my money right now <laughs> i would still go shelby 350 and i tell you why yeah i know about oil consumption and all that but you know me i don't care we'll just build the motor this flat plane crank this is what changed the game for mustang in the world of track shelby 350 is in my opinion the best driver's car, my favorite Mustang to drive. I don't care if I want to go fast. I'll just put, I'll just twin turbo or whipple a five o ten speed. But all around fun, sound looks. Shelby three fifty. All right, you guys, appreciate your support. Comment below what you think, what you would take, dark horse or Shelby three fifty. Let the controversy begin. And guys, check out our giveaway. The Mach one is live. Hundred times bonus entries end soon on Facebook.com. Tell me what you want to see next. Let's let's stop the sibling right. Let's get some Mopar Mustang action next. And stop ducking my DMs, guys. Let's race. Let's go. All right, guys. Now, remember, just a roll race doesn't make the whole car. Uh, just because one car does something good, another car doesn't, doesn't mean any car is better. But for right now, and listen, I'm just being 100% transparent with you. I mean... I would still probably pick a Shelby 350 over the dark horse. And that's just my humble opinion because of Shelby. But, and this is my personal car. I mean, the new tech, and this is, this is why you would probably get a dark horse over a 350, right? The reliability of the 5.0. Um, the 5.0 is bulletproof and it can hang in there a little bit longer you know there's a lot of and i'm not trying to trash i love 350s but you know there's the truth of oil consumption on these the fiber was basically bulletproof and of course the tech the creature comforts um a lot of people might like analog but you know this is this is a cool place to be it's a new kid on the block and 
you know, you can see for yourself kind of in the flesh what you think. I think it would be an even more fair race. Let's get a Mach 1 versus a Dark Horse. But for right now, Shelby 350 wins.